Publius Regilius Maro, George X, Book One, Episode One. The meter of this poem is dactylic hexameter, and so it sounds like this: Quid faci at laetas segetes quosidera terram, where terra mai cana sulmis quad jungera vitis. Here you can see an elision. Con veniat quae cura boum qui cultus habendo. Sit peca ra pebus quantex perientia parcis. Here there are two elisions. And finally, hinc canarin cipiam vos o clarissima mundi. And an elision here. That's spelled like this, an elision. When the preceding word ends with a vowel or an M, and the next word begins with a vowel or an H, they are frequently pronounced as a single syllable. As Virgil begins his famous poem that deals with agriculture, and that's what Georgics means, these first four and a half lines terminate here on Incipium. And so, although this is part of the line, this will not constitute part of this episode, but be dealt with in the next one. So, quid faciat laetas segetes, what it is that makes the fields happy, segetes. This is feminine, plural, and accusative. It means the fields of grain, something along those lines, and laetas here then is the object complement with faciat, which is a third singular, subjunctive. And we'll find out in a minute why it's a subjunctive verb. So what makes the fields happy? Quid faciat laetas segetes, quosidere by what constellation? Cedera is from sidus, sideris, like so. It's a third declension noun, and it's neuter. So here we have it with the interrogative pronoun. Here's an, excuse me, interrogative adjective. Here's the interrogative pronoun. So under what constellation to till or turn over the earth, where to reteron, this means to plow, O Mycenas. Mycenas is masculine, singular, and vocative. Mycenas was Augustus's literary agent. He recruited poets and other kinds of talent, like Virgil. And so then, as Virgil's patron, Virgil addresses this poem to him. Mycenas is like his muse. To turn over the earth, O oh, Mycenas. We then have the que here, which links together vertere and adjungere. And so this portion forms a unit. We have here quid, then the next one quo, then quae, and then qui, and then quanta. These are the interrogatives in this sentence. So he says, what makes the fields happy? Under what constellation or what star, that is what time of year, to turn over the earth, where to teram, and also umis adjungura witis, to join the vines, witis, to the elms. And this describes the process of training the grape vines to grow along the elm trees. So adjungere here, the infinitive, takes witis as its object, which is accusative, and then omis as its indirect object, which is dative. And then all of this is controlled by conveniat, which control both vertere, controls both vertere and adjungere. So quosidere, under what constellation it is proper or fitting or suitable to turn the earth, O Mycenas, and to train the vines to grow on the elm trees. What is the care of cattle? So kura is feminine, singular, and nominative. It's modified by this interrogative pronoun quai, and boum is a genitive. What is the care of cattle? Qui cultus, what kind of training or education, what kind of program is suitable for gaining a herd, habendo pecori? So cultus here is masculine, singular, and nominative. It's a fourth declension noun, cultus cultus, and it refers to the right kind of care, feeding, and so forth. Habendo pecori is neuter singular and dative, and pecori is the noun pecus, meaning a herd, livestock generally, and habendo is the gerundive. So what cultus is good for raising up a herd? The next question, apibus quant experientia parkis, how much experientia, how much skill belongs to little bees, apibus parkis, and this is feminine, plural, and dative, because apes is feminine. From this, that is from all of these, I shall begin to sing, Connor and Kipiam. And Kipiam is a first singular future. 
from the third conjugation io verb incipio incipere. So why the subjunctive faciat and conveniat and sit? Well, each one of these subjunctives with an interrogative, each one is an indirect question, interrogatio obliqua. That's what we have here. And the controlling verb of the entire sentence, the main verb, is incipiam, I shall begin. Each one of these, then, is spelling out one of the books of the Georgics because there are four books altogether. So here's book one, here's book two, Quosidera Teram Vertera, etc., and Omis Quadungra Vitis Conveniat. Here's book three, which deals with livestock, and book four deals with bees. So book one is agriculture generally, the tilling of fields. Book two is horticulture, taking care of trees and orchards. Book three is animal husbandry, raising livestock. And book four is the care of bees and the conclusion of the work.